What is Korsakov and how does it work? Korsakov is a software that installs on your computer and that you can use to do interactive films. Films in Korsakov are generative. So with Korsakov you can not only build two-dimensional films, but one where paths and crossroads are not fixed on the map. So they don't have to be the same every time you visit the Korsakov film. Sounds complicated? It is not. This is basically how your brain works. Pull up any memory, look at it and observe to what other thought or memory it connects. Take a deep breath, pull up the same memory again and observe to what thought or memory it connects now. Is it the same? Most likely not. And this is how Korsakov works. Thoughts and memories in Korsakov are called snooze. So, what is a snoo? This is a snoo, the smallest narrative unit. Usually, a snoo is a video sequence. A snoo has pocks. Pocks are points of contact. There are in pocks and out pocks. Through an out pock, a snoo connects to other snoos by connecting to another snoo's in pock. Many snoos can connect to a single pock, and every snoo can have many pocks. Pocks are created by keywords. An in keyword to create an in pock, and an out keyword to create an out pock. A Korsakov film is a collection of connected snoos. Korsakov is the software that lets you organize media such as film, audio or images so that it becomes a Korsakov film like this one. Ömer Yıldız benim adım. Galata Köprüsü Kontrol Amirliği'nde 9 yıldır yapıyorum. Ya Tugafur Horovic, Diyarbakır doğumluyum. Küçük evlendim, 17 yaşında evlendim. 18 yıllık bir evliliğim oldu. Ee, çalıştım da çalıştım. Benim adım e, Kemal. You can check the film out online. The link is also in the description. So, how do you do Korsakov? Well, first of all, you have to get the software. You can ask Mr. and Mrs. Google to point you to where to download Korsakov or just remember Korsakov.com. There you can also find the demo version. The demo version is fully functional. It only creates a watermark on top of your Korsakov film. Just put the application into the application folder of your computer and open it. Korsakov is a software to organize media. To let Korsakov know what media to organize, just drag it into the main window. In this example, I only added video clips. 
And now let us turn a video clip into a snoo. This is a process also known as snoifying. Select a video clip and double click it. This is the snoo editor. Here you can set the in and out keywords, you can time the links, change the preview, add text and do a bunch of other cool stuff. But we don't do that for now. We just do the basics. We add keywords. One keyword to be precise. We will use the same keyword for all our clips and we use it as in and out keyword. Our keyword is all. And save. The all keyword window lists all the keywords that are used in our Korsakov film. The icon of the video clip that we just snoofied changed and got real fancy. The video clip is now officially a snoo. So let's pick another video clip. We snoofy this clip by adding our keyword all as an in and an out keyword. We can type that into the keyword lines or simply pick it from the all keywords window. Let's open a whole bunch of video clips and snoofy them in the same manner. We also need to create an interface. An interface is a template that defines where the snooze and the links will come up and a bunch of other stuff. You can pick from the example interfaces, but usually you want to create them yourself. Let's start with a blank one. First, we want to define where the snooze will come up. Then let's add a couple of previews. That's good enough for now, we can always change it later. You can build many interfaces, but for now we will stay with one. Now it is time to export the first version of our Korsakov film. After the export is finished, you will find in the folder that you have specified a file called index.html and a folder called data. The data folder contains all the video clips and a bunch of other stuff. If you copy all that to a web server, billions of people from all over the world have access to it. If you want to preview it on your computer, you can only do so in Firefox and only after you have done a bit of voodoo to it. But I promise it just takes two minutes and once you have done it, it works forever. Or at least until you change your computer. How to do this kind of voodoo? The link is in the description. This is now a random Korsakov film using just one keyword and one interface. This is of course just a starting point. I already find it kind of interesting, especially on the level of sound, which you obviously cannot hear here in this screen recording that is without sound. Maybe you want to check it out for yourself. Link is in the description. Subscribe for further updates and thanks. Thanks for your attention.